Jesus Freak 777 told me it was unnecessary for me to make this video, but I feel that it's very relevant now since people actually copied the video of me and Jesus Freak having a problem on YouTube and posting it on the web. As most of you know who have actually watched the video between me and Jesus Freak, it was established, it was my understanding that he was basically stating the reason why I'm having the problems that I'm having right now financially with my home, with all kinds of bills and issues, was because God was punishing me. At the time, I was completely convinced that that's what he was saying. But Jesus Freak called me on the phone because I gave Jesus Freak my phone number a long time ago. He called me yesterday, spoke to my wife for a little bit, as well as me. He said that he's sorry about the problems that we're having. That's not what he meant at all, that he was speaking more in a spiritual sense. He told me it's not necessary whatsoever after I accepted his sincere apology to make a video. But now that I see that people are using that video to attack Jesus Freak, I can't just sit by and pretend as though it didn't happen. I cannot pretend he didn't call and try to work things out. He did not work it out so I could upload a video and try to make him look good. He didn't even want me to upload a video. He did it because he wanted to preserve our friendship. So as a human being, as a non-believer, I feel that it's important that the truth be told. Jesus Freak called, we work things out, and we are again friends. Yesterday, after making tons and tons of calls throughout the past couple months for help, I actually received a phone call from a couple of the churches that I had called. And they ended up bringing food over. They ended up also giving me some more numbers and some suggestions. And we might also even get some help on a couple of the bills that we're having a difficult time with. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. There are Christian churches out there who are having a hard time themselves according to their own claims because the town has been having so much trouble. People losing businesses, people losing homes due to bankruptcy and foreclosures. There's been some Christians out there who've claimed that God is going to do this and do that to me and punish me for being a non-believer and uploading videos and saying the things I do. However, there have been Christians who have emailed me through YouTube as well as through my normal YouTube in order to offer support as well as donations. And I want to say I thank you for that and I appreciate that. There has been some atheist YouTubers who have helped me out in the past, such as Pat Kendall, Tommy from the Bronx, and a few others who did not want to be mentioned by name. They're not looking for subscriptions, and they're not looking for views. They just seen that a fellow non-believer, a fellow human being, was having problems, and they offered their support. During my time of need, I've had Christians who've been supportive, and I've had Christians who've used this moment to tell me that the wrath of God has been bestowed upon me. Also, during my time of suffering, I've had non-believers who've been supportive, who've offered suggestions, given out numbers, given different things. Some things helped, some things did not. Other people, however, took the time to make videos about me, call me an e-beggar, call me a whiny little bitch and stuff, basically using the internet as a means to be able to grab money and all that, trying to give the appearance that I'm some kind of horrible thief or scam artist and all that. I really don't appreciate that. I don't think it's nice to be hurting people while they're down and having the kind of problems they do. I also don't think it's very nice or very respectful to do something like that, claiming that people get money off the internet, when most of you who have ran your mouth and called me an e-beggar are partners on YouTube, and you make money for every click and every view. Every video that you create about me, you get paid for. I also find it very stressful, too, when repeated times I've explained in videos that I have health issues, serious health issues, not a cough or a fever or a flu or things like that, serious health issues. I've also described that one of my children is disabled in the household. I've also described that my wife suffers from diabetes, and the medication for that is very serious, very expensive. 
And besides that, I've also explained in the past many times that we have our ups and downs. This is one of the reasons why I'm able to have the time to be able to make YouTube videos because of health issues. It saddens me that people would use my health issues in a way to mock me or make fun of me. I think that people can be better than that. I think that people can be adults about situations. I don't expect any kind of sympathy or compassion from anybody, but come on. Does it make me feel awkward that there are so many Christians out there after watching my videos and seeing my discussions, seeing my debates, being in chat rooms with me and watching me basically mop the floor with the Bible? Does it make me feel awkward that people actually came and tried to help me and support me after all the church phone calls of exposing churches and going after radical extremists and fanatics? Yes, it does. Hopefully, Christians will understand that my issue has always been and always will be the hardcore fundamentalists out there that cause a danger and aggravation to society, and not just to the average normal person who goes to church every day and prays and believes in God and just tries to live their life, help their family, help their friends, and help the total stranger that is walking down the street. Does it make me feel awkward that there are good non-believers out there who have bent over backwards to try to help me out and support me in my time of need, helping out my wife and children, my family, whenever we're in this dark hour? Does it also make me feel awkward that there are non-believers who use my pain and suffering to sit there and get views and get subscriptions off of YouTube, who try to drag me through the fucking mud and make me look like an idiot? Yes, that makes me feel very awkward. It makes me feel very strange. It makes me wonder about a lot of things, a lot of things deep inside, and it causes me a lot of conflict. For those out there who have helped me out, whether religious or non-believer, if there's anything that I can do for you whatsoever in my limited form at this moment, just say it and I will make it so. I think that it's reasonable and I think that it's fair that if people want anything from me after helping me out as you've done, I will be more than happy to sit there and help you in whatever way that I can and whatever my family can do for you, whether religious or non-believer. Although a lot of things have been resolved, there's still a lot of things that need work on. There's still a lot of things I'm having problems with financially. And hopefully people will continue to support me as well as contribute to me as well and my family in our time of need. And last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, before I close this video out, I hope that none of you have to ever go through what I've gone through, what my family's been through. I don't wish that on my worst enemy. I've also learned throughout having this, these videos up asking for support that there's a lot of you out there that are having a lot of hard times as well. You're having a lot of problems. It seems that all over the world there's problems with people. People are dying. People are hurting. People are suffering. And this has been going on for a long time. And then there's certain people out there who want to help, who try to do the best they can. There's people who want to help, but they can't. And then on the other hand, there's other people who make videos where they crack jokes about people's suffering. There's people out there who think it's funny to exploit people's pain and suffering. And it's very sad to watch. It's very sad to see. It's also sad to see that there seems to be more people in the world who want to kick people in the fucking face while they're down as opposed to actually help. Could you imagine what the world would be like if people all cared and they united one together, whether non-believer, religious, people of all kinds of different faiths, were to combine together to help out this world in its time of need? It would be fucking amazing. It would be fucking fantastic. But unfortunately, even though I have a little bit more hope because I've seen what it can do for my family, I don't know if that's going to be something that's going to be consistent in a pattern we will see around the world. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you for your help, and thank you for your future help. Feel free to connect with me on Facebook, Twitter, and of course YouTube and Blip TV. Also, don't forget to check out my official website, Redkeen.com. Dot com.